So welcome back. Now, uh, thank you very much for all the wonderful comments that I have received recently. And my game, uh, well, more, I got mostly, I got like a 4.5 on both Android and uh, iOS. Now I have a lot of complaints about the controls, but the controls are kind of there for a reason. Uh, it allows you to play one-handed as well, and it kind of uh, stops you from constantly stopping. Basically, when you have the accelerator and you're pushing on the accelerator, you got to like watch it. I, I My goal was for you just to kind of maintain a certain speed and that way you can kind of control it. Again, this is more of a training app than more of a game. The, but anywho, um, I just want you to be clear. Now, I am adding a steering wheel. I just can't add it myself. And I don't know where my my, my developer is. No idea where he is. Now, I hired him on a website called Fiverr. And then we kind of like... Uh, when, we kind of separated from that, eliminating the middleman, but we just basically went kind of with email and Skype, but just just through chat. Uh, his English was brilliant, but and he he was from Russia, but he, as you can see, he created a fantastic game. It's just that he got a bit done with the game, I think, and he's done. I have found a new developer, and he's creating really cool stuff. Uh, he's really young, but uh, he seems to know us. He seems to know his stuff, so I'm gonna have him kind of uh, try to. Uh, update a lot of the stuff that I, you guys have been requesting. Um, it's just not the easiest because another guy created the game with his settings and his files. I, it's very hard to to really... I don't know. It, it's just it's not the easiest thing in the world for me to just change something and upload it. It's not that simple. There's a lot of other stuff that's going on that I really haven't a clue about. The last guy I really did know about. The new guy is learning about. So I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I really am. But Again, the controls, for you. For those of you who think that you can't stop, just double tap on the screen. That allows you to stop. Okay, so uh, the steering is a slider. You can also switch it to the buttons. But seriously, I did a slider for a reason. All right, it just allows you so you don't actually have to uh, to look at the steering wheel. Okay, um, but just trust me, the slider is a good thing. But there will be an actual steering wheel. And now I just basically have to decide if the steering wheel is gonna have four rotations from all the way to the left or just one. It's just, it's kind of like, I tried doing with four rotations, man, it takes a long time and it, it screws everything up. You gotta look at where you're actually steering. But uh, I think we're just gonna basically have uh, two steering wheel, two rotations completely. We'll see, I'll, uh, I'll update it and I'll give you the choice. You can either switch from that to the steering wheel or to the slider. Okay. Anywho, this particular level, why I actually am making this video in the first place, I have uh, an hour to where I can actually record before my kid comes home, where I, before I actually start watching him. That is why I'm not posting a lot of videos. I have this new kid, which I absolutely am crazy about, and he has taken up all my time. And I still work a full-time job as a truck driver. I only work four days a week, but I work 50 hours a week. Okay, so I'm sorry. I have I have I have priorities now, <laughs> and uh, my kid comes first. So I'm sorry about that. Now this level, um, this level is one of my favorite levels to practice on. Okay, um, meaning as in like uh, it it allows you to have full control over the trailer. Meaning you always have full control over it, but allows you to kind of gain more of an ability to uh, to really control it. And just like level six. Or is it five? I can't remember. Whichever one, it has the wide open space to where you can just back up and go nuts. It's whatever. Brilliant. All right. I recommend mastering that. And then, you know, this is level 95. So we are going to be uh, just basically avoiding buildings. All right. And try not to stop. Seriously, if you have to stop, ah, you know what? Just restart the level. All right. Get get your best score. All right. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just great for maneuvering. Okay. Let's, let's get on with it. So I'm gonna go flat out, start turning immediately. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit just so I can kind of see where I'm going. Ooh, I gotta get those lines past the space and then straight. I'm gonna start turning immediately. You can watch the back of the trailer, but well, watch the, the those red lines because you wanna make sure they're past there. Now we can go, now we can straighten up and then get back into a turn. And uh, there we go. Not quite yet, so I'm going to keep the turn going. Then straight. Now we can start turning. And straight. I see this part's easy. It gets a lot difficult. There we go. Start slightly turning. Not too much. Oop. 
I'll probably, I'll probably regret that. Uh, because I usually start turning before then. There we go. Let's see, this is where speed is not the best. Ah, I'm gonna end up gonna start turning. <laughs> oh, gotta really jackknife that. More. Oh, I'm I'm at the end. Oh boy, am I gonna make it? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Slow is the key <laughs> for the last part, but uh, I try doing it without even lifting my finger off the screen. Usually, I can actually back up into that little space, but now I'm just gonna have to do a pull forward. But uh, so let's go to the right, go pull forward, and we're in. All right. So uh, basically, 90 seconds. If you can beat that, good for you. All right, you're uh, you're pretty good at the game. So let's just do it one more time, and I kind of want to go over how I do it. So now we're going to go slow. I'm going to go over every detail of what I'm going to be doing, and I'll try to slow down my talking because I know I talk really fast sometimes, and a lot of people struggle to understand me. My, I'm I'm sorry. Now, what are we going to do? So basically, we're going to do a lot of watching of this. Uh, red line and basically where it's pointing towards because you got to always know where your trailer is pointing towards I am constantly watching it in the real world and uh, I love the straight back when you're doing the straight back you pretty much always know where the trailer is going to go if you keep it straight okay so I'm just going to start backing up slowly and then immediately I'm going to start turning the steering wheel to the right because I'm controlling the front of the trailer all right because I want the front of the trailer to go to the right so that's what means I'm going to turn the steering wheel to the right okay so when you are looking in your mirrors Ask yourself, which way do you want the steering wheel to go? Sorry, where do you want the, the, the front of the trailer to go? So that's the direction you will turn the steering wheel. Okay, so I'm only going to go this fast. So I'm going to turn the steering wheel to the right. It's going to immediately jackknife. Now I'm going to try to control it and maintain that angle somewhat. Now I'm watching the red line. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And there, by the time, oh, usually I, that was a bit late actually. So I'm going to keep my turn going just a little bit because I want to get close to that building on the right. Okay, I'm gonna maintain that angle. Now I re I need to get these red lines all the way past this. All right, so I may need to jackknife a little bit more. All right, and by the time I'm straightened up, I should have I should miss it. If not, then I keep the angle going. And there we go. Now we're gonna go straight, and we're gonna start turning here. All right, then we're gonna keep the turn going, watching those red lines. So we need to go more. And by the time I'm straight, hoping that I'll be missing that building. If not. We're going to keep the angle going. There we go. Now we're going to do a straight back. We're going to start turning early. Now, the di when do I start to turn? All right, first of all, you got to make sure that you're missing th this over here with, th with the front of the trailer. Now, when you are turning to the left, the front of the cab goes to the right. So we're going to take advantage of that. Now, the distance between here and here is actually uh, very, very important uh, because uh, the further away you are, the sooner you can actually make, you can start your turn. Okay, so, all right, let's see, where was I? Okay, so we're gonna keep that turn going. All right, we're gonna miss it. This hard right to chase. Now at this particular point, your goal is to actually get nice and close. Like I can't put my jackknife right now because if I do, the front of the trailer is gonna go to the right. So I'm just gonna maintain. Now I can do it. All right. Looking good. See, it gets a lot narrower. Your goal is to get nice and close to this point here. Now we can do a straight back. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Now, again, I have to wait till the front of my cab, sorry, front of my trailer gets past this one before I can start turning to the left. Okay. And now. See where the truck's going? Truck went to the right. Now I'm gonna point it straight. And let's do a hard right because I didn't wanna hit this right here. Okay. And we're missing it. So straighten up. And straight. Again, the same thing again. We're gonna turn all the way to the right right now. And let's point it. Let's just keep it straight for now. Now I'm watching the red line, making sure that it's missing this guy. Okay, we can start straightening up now, and maybe we'll have missed it. If not, we'll keep the turn going. 
So we're going to keep the turn going just a little bit longer. There we go. Now we can do a straight back. Missing it. Now I can start my turn. I'm going to try it back up into this little into into the, the parking space without actually pull, doing a pull forward. So basically, this is a parallel park, and it's a nice wide space. I didn't make it. I I wasn't I was that wasn't the challenge of this level. The challenge of the level was just maneuvering your uh, your trailer. There we go. Let's get a straight back going. Once we're straight, and there. Okay, we can probably start turning now. Obviously, this level took uh, a little longer. It took five minutes because I was uh, stopping and pausing and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's just go ahead. And I like to finish off in a dead straight and stop. Oops, there we go. <laughs> all right. That's one, that's one of my favorite levels. I recommend you practicing that as much as you can. And worst case scenario, you do it 100 times.